deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies Lechuk's Fortress. So, when are we going to resurrect the old bloated fool? Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. I. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big Whoop. It has a picture of a parrot on the front. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around, Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island, a fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy-to-read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. Smith, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification? Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! Nice try, Guybrush. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. Well, am I under arrest? If you want to put it that way, sir, yes. Oh, all right. Let's go. Coming. Mr. Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. I can't say as I care much for your method of invitation. I simply wanted to ensure that you didn't slip away before we had a chance to meet. There's something I'd like to discuss. Such as how much it must cost to keep you in food? Be careful upon whose toes you tread, Mr. Threepwood. At least I can see your toes. Why, you... Excuse me. 
Let's get down to why you're here, shall we? I intend to sell you to the ghost pirate LeChuck. <laughs> LeChuck's dead. I killed him. Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no, LeChuck's back. I beg your pardon, did you say something? I took care of LeChuck once, I can do it again. You'll get your chance. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. I guess that bounty would buy a lot of bacon grease and pure fat, huh? Why, you... You can figure it out while you wait in jail for LeChuck to pick you up. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Okay, Walt. I'll be back to relieve you at 11. I hope I don't have to sleep here. Watch me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. Here, doggy doggy. Here, boy. There's a banana in here, and an organ. Mr. Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. Yet? Are you kidding? I reached my limit hours ago. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty fisherman. Oh, you are, are you? I'm the best fisherman in these isles. Oh, I beg to differ with you. I'm the best fisherman in these isles. You? Why, you couldn't catch cold in a blizzard. The pike I catch make Pike's Peak look like an anthill. That's why I'm known as the Blowfish. The fish you catch are so small you need tweezers to throw them back. Listen, bait for brains. I'm the best around and that is that. Not if your hooks are as dull as your wit. Perhaps you'd like to make a small wager, eh, Mr. Fisherman? What sort of wager were you thinking of? If you can catch a bigger fish than I can, I'll give you my prize-winning fishing pole. What's the catch? If I catch a bigger fish than you, you have to eat it. Rawr. 
Ooh, you mean on rice with a little wasabi and soy sauce? No. Plain cold and with the head still on it. What do you say? All right, it's a bet. Great. I am really looking forward to making you eat my catch. What with all the sewage from Governor Fat's mansion, the fish are usually pretty gross. I never eat mine. Just sell them to restaurants. Best get fishing, buddy. <laughs> This looks like a lighthouse on a beach. Shh. That doesn't seem to work. This is a library. There's a model lighthouse lens inside. Please be quiet. Excuse me. Shh. This is a library. Whisper. Now, what is it? I'm looking for a book. Do you have a library card? No. How do I get one? I'll need some personal information. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Address? 221B Baker Street. Age? Uh, 21. Occupation? Pirate. Vices? Murder, arson, thievery, that sort of thing. I see. All right. Your library card will be mailed to the address you gave me. In the meantime, take this temporary card. You may check books out of the library, but only four at a time. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. What book are you looking for? Mm, I don't know. What have you got? You expect me to name every book in the library? Use the card catalog like a normal person. Great shipwrecks of our century. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. I think I'll try a different drawer. The Joy of Hex. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. I think I'll try a different drawer. I think I'll try a different drawer.
When I blew up LeChuck. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. I've had it with this card catalog. Uh, pardon me, miss. What do you want this time? I'm looking for a book. What book are you looking for? Could you find The Joy of Hex? Okay, here you go. Anything else? Do you have Great Shipwrecks of Our Century? Okay, here you go. Anything else? I'd like when I blew up the chuck. Okay, here you go. That's your limit. You'll have to give some books back before you can check out any more. Aren't you supposed to be in jail? Uh, you must be confusing me with my cousin, Guybrush. Oh, I see. The resemblance is uncanny. I think there's a fire in the kitchen. Really? I'd better check it out. Pirate quotations. Happiness is a warm manatee. Rap scallion. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Fester leech. Darn! Barney Gout. Violets are blue, roses are red. We're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Old skunk eye. Mouthwash. We don't need no stinking mouthwash. Commander Buttonhead.
think this has been washed in about 10 years. There are crumbs and condiments all over it. Bets? Okay, here we go. Fifteen black. All right! You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, and a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. I'd like the money. The money it is. Care to make a bet? number. Please give me the password. If this is five, what's this? Two. Right. The winning number will be 28 black. Thanks. I'll knock. What do you want, kid? I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Sorry to bother you. You again? What's the next winning number gonna be? Please give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is two, What's this? Three? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is three, what's this? Two? No, it's five. Okay, we'll start over. Watch again. If this is five, what's this? Four? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is four, what's this? Three? No, it's one. Okay, we'll start over. Watch again. If this is one, What's this? Five? No, it's two. Watch again. If this is two, what's this? Four? No, it's three. Watch again. If this is three, what's this? Two? No, it's five. Watch again. If this is five, what's this? 
Three? Look, I've been generous. Most of the guys in the gambler's club can get it in three or four tries. Are you a new member? Or just slow? Come back later. What do you want, kid? What's the next winning number gonna be? First, give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is one, what's this? Two? No, it's four. Watch again. If this is four, what's this? Three? No, it's five. Watch again. If this is five, what's this? Two? No, it's one. Watch again. If this is one, what's this? Three? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is three, what's this? One? No, it's two. Okay, we'll start over. Watch again. If this is two, what's this? Five? No, it's four. Watch again. If this is four, what's this? One? No, it's three. Watch again. If this is three, what's this? Two? No, it's five. Watch again. If this is five, what's this? Four? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is four, what's this? One? No, it's two. Okay, we'll start over. Watch again. If this is two, what's this? It's five. Watch again. If this is five, what's this? Four? No, it's one. Watch again. If this is one, what's this? Four? No, it's two. Watch again. If this is two, what's this? Five? No, it's three. Watch again. If this is three, what's this? Two? No, it's one. Watch again. If this is one, what's this? Five? No, it's four. Watch again. If this is four, what's this? Two? Look, I've been generous. 
Most of the guys in the gamblers club can get it in three or four tries. Are you a new member? Or just slow? Come back later. What do you want, kid? What's the next winning number gonna be? First, give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is five, what's this? Five? No, it's three. Watch again. If this is three, what's this? Four? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is four, what's this? Three? No, it's five. Okay, we'll start over. Watch again. If this is five, what's this? Two? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is two, What's this? Four? That's two. One more. If this is four, what's this? Five? Okay, you must be a member of the Gamblers Club. But I don't recognize you. No, I was transferred here today. New orders. What? Um, sorry. I had a flashback there. What I meant was that I just joined today. Oh, okay. The winning number will be 11 red. No more bets? Okay, here we go. Twenty-eight black. All right! You win again. Today is your lucky day, all right. Would you like money again? Yeah. I think that's enough for me today. Okay, Ralphie. See you tomorrow. Bless your bets, please. Hello. How you doing? I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like 11 red. Okay. Here we go. 11 red. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Well, which will it be? I'd love to have the invitation. He wants the invitation. Congratulations! Thanks! Easy money!
All you have to do is watch the wheel go round. Where do you want to go? Please take me to Booty Island. What happened to the map I gave you? You'll never find the island without it. I'll go back and get it. Mr. Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. Hey, that tickles! Where do you want to go? there. Sorry, son. Didn't have my horn out. Could you say that again? I said hello there. My name's Threepwood. Oh, why, hello there, Threepwood. You in town for Mardi Gras? Is this the right time of year for Mardi Gras? Son, it's always Mardi Gras on Booty Island. I used to be the governor of this island. But I never had any time to come down here and enjoy the party, so I quit. And now I watch out for the mail boat, which reminds me, I have to get back to work. Gee, I wonder if it's loaded. Hey, don't touch that. We only set that off when the mail boat comes in. Nice shop you got here. Thanks! I pride myself on the quality of my merchandise. I only sell the finest of pirate memorabilia. Even the trade-ins are first class. And I always make you the best deals. How can you afford to do that? Volume! I have to go now. I'd like to buy this ship's horn. Alrighty! That'll be 40 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. It says, beware of parrot. I'd like to buy this sign. Sorry, that sign's not for sale. Oh. Well, uh, I guess I could sell it. That'll be five pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. Part of the Big Whoop treasure map. I don't know a lot about the piece, but there's supposed to be a book in the library that tells all about the whole map. I'd like to buy these hubcaps. Alrighty! 
They're 50 pieces of eight each. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. I'd like to buy this rock and roll collector's plate. Excellent choice! That'll be 199 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go! Thank you. I'd like to buy this mirror. Alrighty! That'll be 15 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. I see you have an eye for quality. That'll be 25 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy these pirate hats. I see you have an eye for quality. They are 30 pieces of eight each. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. That's the real thing, as seen in Raiders, Temple, Holy Grail, and the Young Chronicles. This one's my favorite. This is really nice. I wonder if I can rent this one. <laughs> it doesn't look like any cannibal I've ever seen. Great costume. I like this one. Excuse me. I'd like to rent a costume. Our costumes are all gone, or on reserve. Sorry. But you have tons of costumes. They're all reserved and waiting to be picked up. Why are your costumes so popular? I'm the only costume shop in a Five Island radius. And besides, everybody who's anybody is going to the big Mardi Gras celebration at Governor Marley's mansion. You look busy. I'll come back later. Ah, you have a costume on reserve. Well, that's a different story. Let's see. Your costume is right over here. Walk this way, please. Well, here it is. You'll surely be the talk of the party in this. Well, have fun and enjoy your costume. What a beautiful dress. Nice costume.
sightseeing, cruises, Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. I'm searching for the treasure of Big Whoop. Yeah? When I was the first maid on the Limping Limpet, we went in search of Big Whoop. We'd heard it was buried under a place called Blinky Island. Never found the island or the treasure. The captain eventually died of boredom while we were crossing the Sea of Beige Flotsam. Hope your luck is better. My name's Guybrush. I'm Captain Kate Capsize. I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. See the world. See the world. Three hour tours. Howdy! Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffin. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck! Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. We'll speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. Didn't you used to be a used ship salesman? Well, yeah. But I decided to get into a business where unsatisfied customers are less likely to come back and complain. Do you do funerals? Of course we do funerals! And not just those somber, all-black, three-handkerchief affairs. We do it in a rowdy Mardi Gras style with music and dancing and pallbearer races. I'd like to say we put the fun in funerals. <laughs> I gotta go. See you later. Here, take this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I care. Sunken galleons. Glass bottom boat. See the world. Sightseeing. Sunken galleons. Where do you want to go?
It says, out on house call. Please come again. Where do you want to go? Excuse me, aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Kate Capsize. You must have me confused with someone else. Kate, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification. My ID is on my ship. Wait here while I go and get it. Nice try, Guybrush. I don't know how you got out of the jail, but I'm taking you back in. Where'd you want to go? Well, well, well. I knew you'd come back. My customers always do, eventually. I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing! When you first walked in here, I said, Now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. Let's go take a look-see. Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here, let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. Why should a man's coffin be any smaller than his bunk at sea? Sure, sure, try out the lid operation. It's just as roomy closed. Can I show you anything else? Could you show me that coffin again? Hey, anything you say. I could spend a lot of time in a coffin like this. Look at how freely I can wiggle my toes. I hear you knocking up there. That's solid oak you're hearing. Yes, it sure is nice in here. Hey, I think the lid's stuck. Um, excuse me, friend. Could you see if the clasp is closed on this thing? I seem to be stuck. Are you still out there? Hello? Where'd you want to go?
I'm not opening up one of these without good reason. I'm not opening up one of these without good reason. I'm not opening up one of these without good reason. It's inscribed with a quote. Violets are blue, roses are red, we're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. Darg! Mouthwash? We don't need no stinking mouthwash. I don't think there's anyone of interest in there. Violets are blue, roses are red, we're coming aboard. Prepare to eat lead. I don't think there's anyone of interest in there. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. I don't think there's anyone of interest in there. Happiness is a warm manatee. Hmm. Looks like human ashes. Silty. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, I've got some ashes for that potion. Bring them to me. Now, there's only one small problem. I forgot the recipe. What? It's been a long time. I don't have that cookbook anymore. I've got a book of voodoo recipes. Good. How many crab scalps does it say to use? Thirteen. Good. That's just what I thought when I whipped up this experimental batch. Thanks. Remember, just a dab will do ya. Was a close one. If I didn't have my flame resistant apron on, I would have been killed. You were killed, Rap. What? You've shivered your last timber. I'm dead. Green is your old pickle relish. I'm not ready to die. I feel my soul is not at peace. There is something I must do before I pass on.
perfect Plumpswin cooked wiener technology? No. I just have this nagging feeling that I left the gas on in my restaurant. It's driving me crazy. I'll check the gas for you, Rap. Thanks. Here's the key. Weenies, 20 feet. Looks closed. It's open. It's stuck shut with old grease and pork fat. Yeah. They're empty, but mmm, I can still smell the pickles. They're empty, but mmm, I can still smell the pickles. You guys can stop worrying about Largo. He's history. Oh, really? He must have finally got that nasty letter I wrote. You sure can write a mean letter, Fink. Do you guys know any piratey songs? Sure. Fink here knows a million. Go ahead, Fink. Sing that one about Scab Island. Oh, all right. Well, I'd rather be a pirate on Scab. Than a scab on a pirate. And if you listen to me, Gab, I'll tell you why I admire it. Oh, the people are too friendly, the weather's not the best. The lodging's too expensive, and Largo's quite a pest. But the thing I like about scab is what it hasn't got. No mayor or police force, and no jail in which to that was beautiful. Well, I'll see you salty dogs later. That reminds me, do we have any weenies left? Where do you want to go? Peepwind character anyway. Who is this Peepwind character anyway? Fools. Idiots. Fools. Idiots. Fools. Fools. Hey. Uh oh. I can explain. I. Thanks for letting me out of there. You'll have to excuse me if I don't stick around. I've got to find out who framed me. Where'd you want to go? Thank you.
Chuck! Get a grip. Don't you know a Mardi Gras costume when you see one? Is there something I can help you with? I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. Now I've got my invitation right here. Well, what do you know? You do have an invitation. Do you have a costume? I have my costume right here. Better put it on. Well, if you insist, but you'll have to try to restrain yourself. No, no, not here. Go in the bushes or something. Jeez. Oh, that is nice. And the boots are a nice touch. Okay, I guess you can go through. Have fun! Chicks. Yeah, I thought there'd be some here. Then again, in these costumes, <laughs> who can tell? That's true. There might be some babes here. Hmm. Well, what can we do about it? Well, we just ask. Ask? What are you, nuts? Yeah, I guess you're right. <sighs> I'm gonna sweat off 20 pounds in this stupid costume. No kidding. Nice mask. Thanks. More subtle than most. Yeah, thanks. Not your usual, larger-than-life, Mardi Gras head. It looks like part of the map to Big Whoop. Nope. Probably saved a lot of materials, huh? Oh, right! I got the first map piece! Why do we put up with this stuff? Well, what's the matter, boy? Smell something? Uh, nice doggy. <laughs> What's the matter there, Gabrush? What? How did you know my name? I was talking to the dog. Who are you? She named her dog Guybrush? Yeah, I don't get it either. It's not much of a name if you ask me. She says it's because he's dumb and helpless and keeps getting in the way. But he sure can sniff out the governor's possessions. Maybe you should empty your pockets. Try and catch me, old man. Oh, uh, look out for that rake. Governor? I caught one of your party guests making off with your grandfather's map. Another would-be treasure hunter, eh? Bring him in. In here, Guybrush. Guybrush? Guybrush Threepwood? The one and only, Sugar Bear. Of all the parties in all the houses on all the islands of the Caribbean, he had to crash mine. It's destiny, Honeycakes. Don't talk to me. Snugglepuss. Get lost. Hunky Doodle. I'm warning you. Pooper Dooper. Maybe I should go rake the back 40. Look at us, together again. Boy, we haven't been like this since, well... Since I quit my job and moved away without leaving a forwarding address? Was that what happened? Gee, I, th I thought... Guybrush, can't you take a hint? We were a mistake. I thought we had an agreement. I'll win you back, if it's the last thing I do. Oh, really? Have you been forwarding all my mail? Same old guy, Brush. 
Still not afraid to use a lot of perfume, I see. So much for a pleasant attitude. How's your sister? The really good-looking one? <laughs> I see you're charming as ever. I should warn you, I cancelled the boat insurance. Can't you take a hint? Life without you is an endless nightmare. I guess that's supposed to make up for everything. My soul is sick, Elaine. And love is the only cure. You're getting warmer. Your lonely nights are over, baby. I have returned. And here I thought you were becoming a decent guy. May lightning strike me if I bear false intentions. Nice try, but I think you're too late. I jump out that window to prove my love. Well, that's not the most stupid thing you've ever said. You were right. I was a buffoon. And a weenie. Oh, Guybrush. I know I shouldn't have anything to do with you. But there's something about your weakness and ineptitude that I find infectious. Does that mean you're gonna let me have the map? The map. Is that what this is all about? I should have known better. If the map's all you care about... You'd better go out and get it. Mardi Gras sure is tough on us swingers. I'll drink to that. She's gone. I guess I really made her mad this time. Well, maybe she won't miss this old thing. It's impolite to stare at a woman's chest. You know, I heard some guys talking about Marley's bust. This must be it. Man, she has shoulder pads and everything. I think I'm wearing enough women's clothes right now. Some party, huh? as loud as you want. Filbert's out raking the back 40. What the? Hey! Dang wind! Come back here! Slippery little devil! Hold still! Hey! Shoot. It's a beat up metal trash can. Hey! What is all the racket? Don't mess with the governor's cans! Huh.
You again? Who do you think you are? You better just get out of here! No good punk! Hey! Come back here! I'm not done yet! If it's not raccoons, it's teenage vandals! Anyway, like I was saying, you heard me get lost, punk. Oh, what a cute little thing. I'd like to, but this dress just doesn't have the pockets for it. I'm gonna ditch this thing once and for all. Okay, dog. You're coming with me. you want to go? Wow! This is the biggest Almost as big as the Leviathan I just hauled in. Really? Where is this Leviathan? <laughs> I think you're lying. Yeah, you're right. It was just a fish story. I guess you win. Here, take the pull. Where do you want to go?
Ouch! That really hurts! Ooh, wait a minute. Something very strange is going on here. Do not attempt to adjust your set. Dad? Mom! What are you two doing here? We came looking for you. Where have you been? You came looking for me? But I thought you abandoned me. Why would we do that? We are such loving parents. Yes, we are. So what do you two want? We have some information for you, son. Really? Great! What is it? Well, we're going to give it to you in the form of a song. Oh, okay. a ghost when you met me. You just destroyed my spiritual essence. A favor that I will now return. <laughs> wow. What a dream. Where do you want to go? <clears throat> yeah? Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Yeah. I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. Drove him right out of town. No, it was me. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? Um, well, no, never mind. I'd just like to browse, thanks. Okay, but don't touch anything. Excuse me, could you take a look at this? Mmm, looks like a massive fracture. You're gonna be using this? I better reinforce it for you. Here you go, boy. Steel shank, alloy splints, better than new. Where'd you want to go?
think I get the idea. There's nothing interesting in there. It's crazy, but it just might work. Hello? Little guy brush. Good boy! Run along home now. Now that's a good dog. All right, I got the first map piece. It's hundreds and hundreds of maps. Nice. Where do you want to go? Deep inside LeChuck's Fortress. Ah, LeChuck, sir, I regret to report that Guybrush has found one of the map pieces to Big Whoop. You will regret it a lot more if he finds another! Stop him at any cost. But remember, I want him alive. Yes, sir. Creep. I swear I put it right here. I hope I didn't lose it. I'll never be able to afford a new one. Ah, that'll work. Thanks. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Hey, I did it! Largo the Grand left scab. That's great. I guess I can stop with the bricks through his window now. supposed to be cooking. I had to go to the bathroom. Don't worry, I washed my hands. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. He's cute. Hey, what'd you do to my piano player? Go ahead and take my entertainment. Thanks for nothing, buddy.
No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo Legrand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Grog, please. I'll need to see some ID for that. Will you accept a temporary library card? Let me see it. Is Guy Brush a French name? No, actually, it's a fictional name. Oh, all right. Can I get you that drink now? Yeah, I could really use it. Name your poison. What do you got? Well, we have some specialty drinks here at the Bloody Lip, like Yellowbeard's Baby, Bloody Stump, and Blue Whale. I'll have Yellowbeard's Baby. Well, you can try, but I don't think nature's on your side. <laughs> Just give me the drink, please. Hey, I have to crack jokes. It's a union thing. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. And here's a complimentary crazy straw. We give them to all new customers of the bloody lip. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. Give me a bloody stump. I can't. Chainsaw's out of gas. Ha 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 ha. Hilarious. Yeah, I cracked myself up. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. Mix me up a blue whale. Sorry, blender's not big enough. <laughs> oh, but seriously, that'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows! Who is this Kate person? Ah, the courageous Captain Kate Capsize. Tough as steel, sharp as nails. She rents her ship out, does some freelance pirating. Her only loyalty is to the highest bidder. Don't get on her bad side. Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Where do you want to go? That's the legendary white whale! Never been caught! Except on canvas. Does it have a name? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Nothing says a whale must have a name. I have an eye patch in every shape. It looks like Spiffy the Pinhead. Those are authentic scale reproductions of rotting skulls rendered in sun-bleached whalebone. There's even some loose skin to hang them up from. That's part of the Big Whoop treasure map. I don't know a lot about the piece, but there's supposed to be a book in the library that tells all about the whole map. Great shipwrecks of our century. It says here the Mad Monkey sank at 42 North, 84 West. How much is the map piece? The map piece is made of authentic parchment from the turn of the century. Can't find things like that anymore. Yeah, but how much is it? Oh, about six million pieces of eight. Uh, I don't think I have that much to spend. Well, I do have some nice fake maps for less. No thanks. 
Do you take credit? Yeah, like you have one. But I do accept personal checks or trade-ins. What kind of trade-ins do you accept? I'll take most old swords, some used parrots, almost anything valuable made of bronze, and a few old ship parts. Would you give me the map piece for any of those things? No, but there's one thing I might trade for the map piece. What would you trade for the map piece? There was a certain ship that sunk and I'd really like the figurehead. I'd give you the map if you got the figurehead for me. Can you tell me about the ship with the figurehead? The ship was a huge galleon named the Mad Monkey. Nobody knows where it sank or why. But the figurehead is supposed to be the most fabulous piece of art ever. That's why I want it. I'm a collector of fine art, as I'm sure you can see. I have to go now. Galleons. Check it out. Sightseeing. Check it out. Great shipwrecks of our century. It says here the Mad Monkey sank at 42 North, 84 West. See the world. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. My fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Don't you think 6,000 pieces of eight is a bit high? No, I don't. I'll come back later. Okay, I'll be here. Cruises! Are you the same Kate who bought all the near grog at the Bloody Lip? Yeah, and you can't have any of it, so don't ask. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. As I mentioned, my fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Do you give credit? <laughs> I'll come back later. Okay, I'll be here. Sightseeing! Cruises! Where do you want to go? What do you want, kid? What's the next winning number gonna be? Please give me the password. If this is five, what's this? Four? No, it's two. Watch again. If this is two, what's this? Four? No, it's one. Watch again. If this is one, what's this? Two? No, it's five. Watch again. If this is five, what's this? Four? Right. The winning number will be 17 black. Easy money. All you have to do is watch the wheel go round. I'd like to place another bet. Here's one piece of eight. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like 17 black. Okay. Here we go.
17 black. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Well, which will it be? Give me the money. He picks the money. Well, I'm out of money for today. You're lucky that you won the last of it. Congratulations. Thanks. All you have to do is watch the wheel go round. Where do you want to go? Three hour tours. I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. Sightseeing. Three hour tours. Sunken galleons. Great shipwrecks of our century. Says here the Mad Monkey sank at 42 North, 84 West. Cruises. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. As I mentioned, my fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Don't you think 6,000 pieces of eight is a bit high? No, I don't. I don't have that much. I guess you'd better find some more then, huh? Sightseeing. Check it out. Glass bottom boat. Okay, now who's gonna be next? It's a great day for spitting. Just look at this juicy crowd. Step up to the line and test your swill. Valuable prizes. Even a child can do it. In fact, they do it very well. Come on! It's all paid for by Booty Island Parks and Rec. Just put your two lips together and blow. False alarm. As I was saying, are you pirates or not? Two, four, six, eight. Come on, let's expectorate. Everybody already has the necessary equipment. Turn a disgusting habit into a prestige winning skill. Don't let this grass wither up and die. What was that? Did I hear somebody swallow? It's a brown drink and a broken glass. Thousands will spit. Hundreds will win. Glass bottom boat. See the world. Cruises. Cruises. Sightseeing. Where do you want to go? Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Bartender, give me a drink. Okay, but give me back your empties. I'm running out of glasses. Sure. Now, name your poison. I'll have Yellowbeard's baby. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. Bartender, give me a drink. Name your poison. Mix me up a blue ale. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows! Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Hmm. 
Ugh. It's an acquired taste. Where do you want to go? Sunken galleons. Glass bottom boat. No volunteers. If Blackbeard were here, he'd shoot you all right now. Come on, don't be shy. Let it fly. I know you want to volunteer. I'll give it a try. A volunteer! All right, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. What's your name, boy? Juicius Maximus III. The Juice Man. Max Mucus. He's juicy to the max. Spit away! We're with you, Jushis! Let's go! Misfire! Misfire! Everybody run! Maybe a little over the max on the juice there. Let's give him a big hand anyway, folks. At least he tried. Prove to me that you guys are at least as fun as a pack of llamas. I hear there's some scouts here from the pro spitting circuit. Ooh. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. This may be your last chance at popularity and success. <clears throat> Juices Maximus has returned. Spit away! Spit! Spit! Hey, he's been working out. Looks like second place. I think that deserves a little applause. Too bad there are only prizes for first place. Better luck next time. Now, how about the rest of you? Valuable prizes. Come on, don't be shy. Let it fly. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. Don't let this grass wither up and die. <clears throat> Juices Maximus has returned. Spit away! He's cleared first place! That was truly awe-inspiring. Sports fans, we've seen something incredible here today. Let me congratulate you and give you this fine commemorative plaque. Way to go, Juices! Come on, let's give him a hand. Of course, there are plenty more prizes for the rest of you. So how about it, gang? I know you want to volunteer. It's on the tip of your tongue. Just look at this juicy crowd. Check it out. Cruises. Glass bottom boat. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. As I mentioned, my fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Don't you think 6,000 pieces of eight is a bit high? No, I don't. I'll come back later. Okay, I'll be here. Glass bottom boat. Cruises. What will you give me for this plaque? I'm not interested. What do you mean? It's worth a mint. For a lump of pus on a shingle? 
that's not just any lump of pus. Oh, yeah? What's so special about it? It's made out of rare, ecologically safe materials. Really? That would make it very valuable. And I do like bronze anyway. I'll give you 6,000 pieces of eight for it. Great shipwrecks of our century. It says here the Mad Monkey sank at 42 North, 84 West. Sunken galleons. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. As I mentioned, my fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll pay you the 6,000 pieces of eight. You've chartered yourself a ship. Are you ready to leave now? Yeah, I'm hot to find the wreck of the Mad Monkey. Have you got a course planned or anything? I can show you where I want to go on this map that Captain Dredd gave me. to Booty Island. Okay. I have a treasure guarantee policy with all my charters. Since you came back empty-handed, we can go out again, free of charge. Just let me know if you want to go. Glass Bottom Boat. Great shipwrecks of our century. It says here the Mad Monkey sank at 42 North, 84 West. Sightseeing. Check it out. Check it out. Sunken Galleons. Glass bottom boat. I'm ready to head out again. Okay, show me where you want to go this time. Well, here we are. What now? I've seen coffee cups bigger than this ship. Can we get on with it? I'll dive in and look for the sunken galleon. Are you sure you can swim? Hey, I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. It looks really heavy. Looks like the anchor rope leading back to Kate's ship. Head back to Booty Island. Well, congratulations on your find, Guybrush. Be sure and tell any friends you might have about capsized charters. See you around the turnpike. Three hour tours. Sightseeing. Sightseeing. Check it out. think anyone would ever get the Mad Monkey's figurehead. Can I get the map piece now? Sure, it's yours. 
Yeah, now I got two map sections. Where do you want to go? Once again. Nah, LeChuck, sir. I just wanted to report that we have finished building the new torture chamber you requested. Very good. Do you have anything else to report? Ah, uh, no. Well, there is one other small little thing. I assume this has to do with Guybrush's capture? Well, sort of. You've allowed him to find the second map piece, haven't you? You fool! You ought to ready your ship and sail after him yourself. Find him, or die! You were right, the gas was on. I turned it off. Thanks. I guess where I'm going, I won't need this map anyway. Thanks. Now I can rest in the folds of the earth, like a steaming weenie in a soft, fresh bun. Ah. Where do you want to go? Deep within LeChuck's fortress, blah, 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 blah. Largo. Yeah. Uh, you called for me? Is it true that Guybrush Threepwood has found the third piece of the map to Big Whoop? Ah, uh, yes, sir. I was about. Why did you not come and tell me yourself? Well, I was trying to confirm that he really... Largo, you have been my trusted henchman for many years, but I won't hesitate to drag your entrails from behind my ship if you do not bring me Guybrush before he finds that treasure! It's Captain Kate. Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to list, claims she was framed. If I could read, I'd spend all my free time at the Fat City Library. Reginald Blackbeard.
very picturesque. What's this doing in a pirate game? I don't think I should hammer that. I don't think I should cut that. When I can see far, you are near. want I'm selling these fine leather jackets what do you really want I heard about this guy who used to live here I knew it look kid I'm sick of you would-be treasure hunters coming over here I just inherited this house two months ago and every single day all I've heard is rap tap tap do you have a treasure here why can't you people just go away and leave a retired pirate in peace? I won't touch anything. No. Please. I said no. Pretty please. Leave me alone. All I want to do is come in for a minute. I'm tired of being hassled. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. So, you want a sword fight, do you? Sword fighting's for wimps, weenies, and sissies. Giving up so easily? Wow, this game's a cinch. I have a better way to solve a dispute. Real pirates solve their differences with a drinking contest. A drinking contest? Come on in. I'll get us set up. This is my special grog. It's just for contests. Twice the alcohol, twice the calories. Hey, there's some near grog in here. I hate having to waste it. Here's your drink. From what I'm told, nobody can drink the special contest grog without feeling faint. But I've been practicing. You know, most of the treasure hunters just leave when I ask them to. All gone. But you, you're persistent. It'll get you places in life, boy. Are you sure you don't want to back out? No thanks. I'm a pro. 
You drink first. Oh, you already drank yours. That was fast. Take mine. I'll go get more. From what I'm told, nobody can drink the special contest grog without feeling faint. But I've been practicing. You know, most of the treasure hunters just leave when I ask them to. But you, you're persistent. I'll go on. It'll get you places in life, boy. Are you sure you don't want to back out? No, thanks. I'm a pro. You drink first. Now it's your turn. They all say rum. There's nothing but bricks to look at. A brick is a brick is a brick. That is a nice looking beard. One thing's for sure, I am never shaving this off. He certainly does like his rum. Just like the trap door I had when I was a kid. Too short. A brick is a brick. Looks like he died while taking a bath. Gee, I still can't make heads or tails of it. I think I need an expert.
target you want to go. Hmm. Well, Chuck, sir, I got good news and I got bad news. The bad news is that Guybrush has found the last piece of the map. Nah, the good news is that I got a plan that can't fail. Ah, you see, he must take the map to a cartographer to have it deciphered. I'll head him off before he gets there. If your plan fails, it will not, your voodoo lordship. Hello. Hi, Wally. Oh, hello, Mr. Brush. Thanks. I gotta go. Okie dokie. What's this? A map? Hmm. Looks like only part of a map. I've got the rest of it right here. Hmm, very interesting. Can you put it all together into one map for me? I'll do it for you if you'll run an errand for me. Go to the International House of Mojo and ask the fortune teller if my love potion's ready. Okay. I'll try to have this done for you when you come back. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. Wally sent me to pick up some love potion. Oh, okay. Tell him I said to enjoy, but to be careful. It's powerful stuff. Wouldn't want that little guy getting hurt. Wait, I just felt a sudden disturbance in the force. As if a tiny, tiny voice just called out in fear, and then hastily scratched a message in a table. I think Wally's in trouble, and I think LeChuck has something to do with it. Uh-oh. I better go check. Where'd he go? Someone's hastily scratched a message here. It just says... LeChuck! Oh no! LeChuck's kidnapped the cartographer! The poor little guy! Hey! He has my map!
think there's something moving in here. Hey, Rich! I sure could use a hand with this one. Ugh, looks like another box of live snakes. Sounds like it, too. Well, let's get it on the truck.